Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lucy and I'm very excited to have you. I got up like really early today. Not actually, I literally got up at the time I'm supposed to get up at every day or like the, the time I like to get up at. If that makes sense because I have a 10 a.m. every day. I like to wake up at 8.30 because that gives me plenty of time to like pick out my outfit, like get all ready eat breakfast that whole thing and normally i leave at like 9 30 and i'll get coffee or something but i'm gonna get coffee after my class because i have a little break in between my next class so i'm gonna get a matcha i like already have it all planned out but anyway all right here's the outfit she's pretty plain but i'm kind of here for it i just wanted something like comfy and like a little cute so my sweater or like sweatshirt is thrifted it's really cute i broke the zipper somehow and i'm not sure what happened to it i think i when i washed it or something this top is also thrifted it's just like a little t-shirt and then i'm wearing these like men's boxers because i've seen that a lot on pinterest and i've been wanting to try it so these ones are from target actually but they're really cute like i wear them sometimes like just as shorts and i really like them but they're just some white boxers. These jeans are thrifted um, Levi's. I just got these and they're literally exactly like the other ones I have. So that was kind of like awkward. But it's fine. I thought these were a lighter wash. So that's all right. I might like end up, I don't know, doing something to one of them, you know. And then I'm wearing my uh, Sambas. Which I actually got on eBay for $40. Fun fact. Because, as you can tell, I just don't like to buy anything full price. My whole outfit's actually... Well, I paid full price for the boxers, so... I saw this TikTok the other day. I don't know. If you follow me on TikTok, I've been, like, reposting stuff all the time. I don't know. It's just, like, my new favorite thing. But, um, I saw this TikTok the other day, and it was, like... Yeah, thrifting's, like, fun and good or whatever. Until you literally cannot spend any, like normal amount of money on like any piece of clothing and that is so true at least for me i mean i thrift most of my clothes and i like cannot justify buying so many things that are like are like actual price i just prefer thrifted clothes more like the way that they look and everything also the price but also sustainably like it makes me like feel just i don't like buying clothes from a brand that i know is not is not good you know um anyway i am about to leave i have an econ lab which is super super fun and um not not at all boring so but actually news i'm switching my major i've decided which is very exciting i'm switching to an art major which is so nice because i I'm currently in uh, marketing. I'm doing digital marketing, but I just don't know if it's for me. Because, like, right now I'm in all, like, the, like, standard business classes. So I know that it would get more fun, but I just, I don't think, I don't think business is for me. So. Hey everybody, I'm back from my econ lab, that was so boring, <laughs> but I think I have, actually I have like no idea what's going on in any of my classes, I'm gonna be honest, like I have like exams, like I know I have a math exam next week and then I have a computing, yeah, I'm in computing, this is I was about to say this is why I'm changing from a business major, but this is actually a class that everyone at Pace has to take. So, 
which it's not even like that bad anymore like I'm better at it but it's very much like if you don't do every fucking step correctly you're not getting 100% like but anyway um I'm about to do my um absentee ballot real quick let me wash my hands though I don't have like super long until my next class my next class is at 120 don't mind the clothes on my bed we're just so it's 11.50, we got out kind of early. We got out like 11.30, I think, but I went and got matcha, as you guys saw. But anyway, um, so I'll have to leave here at like 1.20, but I need to do my absentee ballot because if you guys are 18, you should vote. And if you're like, well, I don't know anything about it, it's so easy to look up, I promise. And it's very important and you need to use your rights or you need to exercise your right of voting. So anyway, and I am from Ohio, as you guys know, probably. And I go to school in New York. And so Ohio needs my vote more so than new york needs my vote you can take that as you want i don't know okay anyway so so that's done which is sick um what time is it actually Ugh, it's already 12 45 so i have to leave in like 15 minutes which kind of sucks but like it's fine i don't know what have i been up to you may ask well Last weekend was Halloween. That was fun. Um, I went out Friday and Saturday. Recently, I've been like reading a bunch. So if you guys want like some book recommendations, let me know. Um, I also have a bunch of books that I've already read. So I'm like, what do I do with them? Sorry, I need like stop playing with my hair. Um, because I was thinking about it and I don't like how unsustainable like reading can be like obviously yes you can go to the library and stuff but like do is that even like really a thing anymore like i know libraries are a thing but do people is there like a public library here that i could like go and rent like a colleen hoover book you know what i mean i don't know which i should research that but i don't know there are ways to get um sustainable books through thrift books my favorite teacher in high school told me about thrift books and it's like you can get books for pretty cheap like under ten dollars um and they're normally like gently used so that's a good way um i think the next book i'm going to read though is verity because um my friend who does my hair she like was raving about Verity and I have yet to read it but I have it like literally right in front of me you guys are sitting on it um so I've been meaning to read that but I've been reading a few other books first so I've been in a Colleen Hoover phase I saw it all on TikTok and I was like well shit like let me try them and then I was like wait they're like good so then I kept purchasing them because personally I like <laughs> okay I am a very anxious person and I tend to um attached to things that make me feel safe so i don't know if this makes sense but pretty much like if there's like a tv show or like a genre or like um what's it called like but like shows and um I don't know, like books and things that i like feel comfortable reading or watching like i'm like i know this has not scared me so then i just continue with that like person i don't know if that makes sense so like if i'm watching something that's not affiliated with something that i know is like safe in my mind then i like get a little bit more freaked out i don't know if that makes any sense but so colleen hoover right now is like my comfort i'm like okay i know her books are not going to like mess with my head in any way i don't know if that makes sense i actually think i'm kind of curious does that like make sense to anyone or is that just me i don't know i think i've talked to my therapist about things like that 
and I know it's like a thing but I don't know if other people like really deal with it but anyway this swatch is like making me feel very anxious for some reason I thought okay we're just like really getting into a deep topic real quick um but I'm very caffeine sensitive I realized which I'm did I take my medicine this morning I didn't take my medicine this morning okay I am very caffeine sensitive and I think that it might be because of my medicine that I take because I'm on a, an antidepressant anti-anxiety medicine um and so I'm not sure if that's necessarily why or if it's just like my body like some people are just more caffeine sensitive but I love caffeine or I love caffeinated drinks so but normally matcha is supposed to not give you like the jittery side of ca of caffeine. I read that somewhere about like the health benefits of matcha over coffee or just over other types of caffeinated drinks. But for some reason I feel very anxious or just like jittery. But maybe that's because I didn't take my medicine. So who knows? Um, I feel like I'm just like spewing and like oversharing. So guys, I was waiting for my advisor. <laughs> to talk with her for an hour because there were like a bunch of other kids that needed to talk to her but I like I don't know she like I emailed her because I like needed to switch my major and she had to approve it and she like forgot or something because she was like she talked with every single person first before me and then she was like oh yeah that's right and I was like I was like so we got like a little bit of a meeting but like it's fine anywho um, after I waited and then talked to her for two minutes, I went to the dining hall to get a little egg and bacon bagel. So, that is what we've got. I'll show you. It doesn't really look that appetizing, but it's very appetizing. And then I have my fruit that I will be eating. So, I'm actually so hungry. So, I'm going to eat this. I'm about to be really brave and do my homework. And that is very unlike me. Um, kidding, kind of. I need to do my math homework, which I don't want to do. I actually despise um, school, so I don't want to do any of this, but I need to do it. So <laughs> that's what we're going to do. So we've got one, two, three. Okay, six. We literally have six more questions to do because I already did some of this. So let's just play some music, do this. Yeah, I have like one other thing that I should probably do, but I'm thinking I'm going to leave that for tomorrow because I really don't want to do it right now. Also, I have a very um, unfortunate storm <laughs> to tell you guys. Like, I'm actually so embarrassed by this, but I did something actually so dumb. So let me f let me focus on you guys. Okay, so this is what happened. I just was so fucking stupid and I I'm so embarrassed. Like it was actually so funny, but I was like, uh. okay, so I was applying for this internship. I like emailed them because they were like, just contact us if you were interested. I emailed them, they emailed me back like pretty much right away. And they're like, will you sign your resume? I'm like, yeah, of course I will. So I'm doing this on my phone, so I'm like, all right, let's just attach, like, the file. I, like, saved the file, so it's like, whatever, whatever. Um, so a PDF comes up. PDF, it says, like, October Lucy McKay PDF or something. I was like, that, that has to be it. Okay? So I attached the PDF. I can't view the PDF yet, so I, I just, I guess I just was like, oh, it's fine. That's probably it. So I send the email. Immediately I click on the PDF just to make sure it's viewable. I open it up. It is, it's not my resume. It is my therapist like sheet <laughs> that says like, <laughs> like my diagnosis, um, my session cost, who, um, like what my insurance is. <laughs> like. It is quite literally like what my therapist sends to me to send to my health insurance so that my sessions can hopefully be covered. And I sent this to this fashion brand. 
So immediately, of course, I'm like, oh my goodness, I am so sorry. And I email them right back. I'm like, I am so sorry. That is not the correct document. I truly apologize. And I attach my resume. She responds right away. She's like, no worries at all with a bunch of exclamation points. I don't know if she's pitying me or if she just found it funny. I don't know. But I, I don't think I will be getting that internship, but I'll let you guys know. Um, but I was, I was like, what? Like, like, what? How does someone do that? Like, how? I don't know. I don't know. I am just the most unproductive person you will ever meet in your life. Like, do you know what I've been doing for the past, like, five minutes? Like, it really hasn't been all, it hasn't been that long. I've been taking pictures on my iPad. Like, I wish I was kidding. Like, let me show you this. I wish this was a joke right now. Like. The lip bite? What's going on there? Oh, and they're live. <laughs> anyway. um, So that was super fun. Do you guys want a haul? Okay, I guess I'll give you one. I got some paper towels. And then all of the body wash was locked up and I was too anxious to ask anyone. So I bought, <laughs> like I wish I was, okay. They didn't have the type that I normally use. So then I was like, well, what the fuck type should I use and then I was like well I want something mild that isn't gonna um like mess with my skin and then I was like well I'll just get this cause this shit smells so good some deodorant that also is just not the kind that I normally get this is fucking tiny what the hell this was $12 I can't even smell it but they didn't have the type I had either. And so I was like, well, I'm not about to, um, like, not have deodorant, right? So I was like, okay, whatever. Um, and I didn't like any of the scents. And then I was like, well, I guess I'll just get, like, this, like, clinically strong one. Like, that's, like, good, I guess, right? And so that's what I did. I got Chipotle for dinner, which I don't want. Like, I just don't want. But there is, like... There was nothing else that sounded anything more appealing. All right, well, as I was saying earlier, I'm just a little bit pissy. I don't think you guys want to hear from me anymore. I certainly don't want to hear from me anymore. So I'm going to just finish the night off, eat my dinner, shower, lay in my bed, maybe start a new book, maybe watch something, maybe just overthink. I don't know. See, I'm just being a bitch. Like, no one wants to watch this. Um, I'm actually gonna have a really great night. So, don't worry about that, guys.